You're not one to follow tradition. You proposed to Rove. Yes. Can you tell me how you went about doing that? Well, I, re I first asked his mum for her permission. Not the dad? No. Well, did he carry him, him around for nine months no. and bring him into the world? No. No, no, I think, I absolutely think that, you know, we all should be asking. Yeah, why do the we they ask the dad? I don't get it, I guess, because it's the old patrilineal fucking yeah. you know, chain of property and stuff. Were you nervous to, was it a face to face or did you call her? I called her. She was in Perth and I was in Melbourne. Um, no, I wasn't nervous. I was a little bit, you know, a little bit kind of giggly about it. But um, she was great and very gracious, like, oh, sure, okay. Aww. And then uh, he was overseas at the time. So I said, look, it, I think I might have called her on a Friday and he was due in on the Sunday or something like that. And um, I said, I'm, you know, I'm going to do it when he first gets back into the house. Um, so on the drive from the airport to the house, he'd called his mum oh. and she was like, have you, have you spoken to Tasma yet? Oh my God. No, 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 I'm, <laughs> no, I just got in off the plane and so how's things? And she's like, because she can't, you know, she's not a very good poker face. Yeah, totally, so obviously. Luckily it wasn't in person, but she's like, why don't you just, why don't you call Tasma and, um, and then, then we can have a chat after that. That is so, so funny. So he got home and I'd done this little painting that said, marry me on it. Yeah. And, and then he kept saying, you gotta ask me properly. Like, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Can you just, just marry me, would you? Oh. It, was, it was really, really unromantic. I actually had never thought I'd get married. Mm. And so the fact that I was actually in that moment saying those words. Yeah, was it a bit of an out-of-body experience? It was. I have what I call wide shot moments. So we, it's like you go out to the wide shot. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. yourself yes. and the other person in the situation. You're going, what the hell am I doing? This is crazy. Have you still got the painting? Yes, I think we have somewhere. And so then did good. he eventually say yes or did he say you've got to ask me properly? He said yes and then can you just ask me properly? Oh. Can you just keep a straight face and ask me properly? And could you do Neither it? Neither of us could, so it wasn't just me. And did he, was there any part of him that was like, I wanted to do that to you, I wanted to propose to you or was he just like, this is... No, I mean, I, I think he might have been thinking about it, but... Um, I was very sure, I just was very sure, it was, it was important for me to do it for a couple of different reasons. One, because I never thought I would ever get married. Mm. And so the fact that I had arrived at a place where I was certain that I wanted to do this, yeah. it made sense for me to initiate it. And it was the, one of the first times I should say one of the first times. It was the first time that I seriously considered children. Did you know he was going to say yes? Yeah, I was. Okay. I don't think I'd be able to. If I was, if I had any doubt, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. Oh my God. Could you imagine to proposing to somebody and they go, oh. Oh, it'd be awful. Oh my God. It would be crushing. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Were you nervous though, even knowing he was going to say yes? Were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. God, I don't know how you couldn't be. Even knowing that person so well, knowing they're going to say yes, it's still a huge thing to do. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a huge thing to do.